Mike Weinberg, Skinnerian, actually uh, quoted in all the literature, a gangster. <laughs> he was one of the one of the one of the original gangsters, <laughs> and he smokes Cuban cigars. Cuban, Havana. I love him. Cubano, Havana. Absolutely. Is Brett Denobi, who I'm very, very proud to introduce. Brett is an, the intellectual grandson of B.F. Skinner. The business. We bout our business. We build it. Yeah, man, we be building. Who y'all really doing it for, it all? The children. Who is the legacy passed down from Skinner? Our CEO, you ain't never met one like him. He built up the business, baby, as tall as the Eiffel. America's moving, baby, we never sit idle. Miami me to Philly, baby, you know that we riding, and now we fly out to Cali, and we went out together, together, we rocking out, baby, through any weather, yeah, we keep the vision, Rocky Rose, they came up, but you know we ain't tripping, we ain't tripping, we built it up, now we winning, we did it, we did it, yeah, man, we did it, damn, we went on a mission, Rocky Rose, they came up, but you know we ain't tripping, we ain't tripping, we built it up, now we winning, we did it, hey. We did it, yeah man, we did it, damn, we went on a mission, Rocky Rose, they came up, but you know we ain't tripping, we ain't tripping, we built it up, now we winning. What needs to be discussed here today probably is from talking to people the last two days, as you can see throughout the world, not just with education, but very much in the education world. We're seeing a whole culture shift as a result of everything we've been through th for the past year and a half. The grind is getting to people. I really think that we have to look at this not just as behavior analysts, when it comes to the immediate, I might fall off the stage, the, the, the immediate antecedents, behaviors, and consequences that are co temporarily contiguous to the behavior, we have to look at this like macro meta contingencies. There are too many meta contingencies impacting education right now. Not only that, but the workforce in general. Behavior analysts, including myself, spend too much time looking at things with what Pauli calls behavioral myopia, I think, where it's micro level. We're not gonna change the world that way. We need to look at the, the macro level. Look what's going on right now. So you have, uh, at least in New Jersey, California, Philadelphia, going west in PA, what I'm hearing in Florida and in Maine, they're short staffed. So very short staffed. Are you walking around seeing all the, the signs hiring? $10,000 sign on bonus. And then it's like trickery because it's $10,000 over five years. Like dumb shit like that, right? This is, this is concerning to me. We're short staffed everywhere. And, and in schools, there are many reasons for that. Let's step back as behavior analysts and really analyze behaviors like a behavior analyst should with systems and, and the big picture. Like step back and do a 360 view of it. Here's the thing. You can't just throw money at problems. So what you'll see is just resources, you know, government throwing money at Department of Education. And if you're not using it, a technology to appropriately disperse the money, like behavior analysis and the application of it, and well-trained professionals that know how, that understand this kind of stuff like you do, these, these macro or meta contingencies that are, that are not direct antecedents and consequences, you could throw money at stuff forever, and that's not the solution. It's, it's a teaching technology and a science of behavior analysis. Like, we got to start looking at, at you know, um, 
This is why I'm so set, me personally, one of my goals is for the organization to get to a level where, where we can influence the right politics and the right politicians with donations and science at the same time and be able to see if we can, imp we can make a change uh, in each state one by one of those that are in charge of like Department of Education, um, the, the governor's office, and just seeing if there are things that we can do that say, great, you threw $267 million at New Jersey schools. It all went to some kind of COVID uh, testing, right? And I know a lot of schools right now, they're allegedly, each district's supposed to have a COVID testing site, and a lot of them don't have it. So where's all the $267 million? I don't know. That's it's just, like, I uh, got off topic, like but when, get know, fired up. <laughs> it looks to me like uh, FABA 2021 was a hit. And what I loved about it, Sweet Tea, was that the community all came together after a sheer year and a half of hell. And it's not that the hell is over yet. We got more strains coming. It's so, it was so hellish, I lost 65 pounds during it. Lost 65 last pounds. That's how hellish yeah. COVID's been. Well, uh, I'd like to lose a few. So the community of behavior analysts all got together after not seeing each other for so long and yeah. something's missing with all the online crap. Yeah, that's why I came here in person because there's yeah. no way to do it except to see people you know yeah. and be with them And get those person. get those little oxytocin hits and, and, and some endorphins keep, going. Yeah, yeah. And I like that uh, the mask is not required right now because then I can see people's smile. Yeah. I can see their micro expressions. And there are only seven. I don't know if you know about that. There, mm -hmm. Dr. Paul Ekman did a lot of work on yes. micro expressions. Yes, absolutely. And uh, you can tell when someone uh, is reacting unusually right. to a certain That's thing right. that you said That's right. after you get baseline data. That's right. So uh, tomorrow we have our presentation at okay. eight at eight a.m. Oh, do you? Okay. I have no idea what it's about, but I know eight a.m. is a little early for yeah. me. I gotta get my beauty sleep. I don't know about you. What's up everyone? It's uh, Ty here, uh, here in Miami in my hotel room, packing up, ready to go home. Um, FABA's great, uh, you know, couldn't, couldn't ask for a better conference. They, they do it right down here. I, I know I can speak for uh, myself and, and probably a few others in our crew, but FABA is one of our uh, favorite events to come to. Um, they just organize it well, it's fun, the people are fun, the atmosphere's great, it's creative, it's, uh, it's very collaborative, so um, I think we, we had a good time. We had a couple presentations that they went really well. Um, I met some really, really cool people, and uh, I don't know, I'm looking forward to coming back. It was fun meeting everyone, and if you like the content, like, subscribe share you know the deal just do it do it